girl B, and I am back to bring you another word for this week's A Word With B. Before we get into this week's word, I want you to make sure you're following me on all social media platforms at A Word With B. That's A-W-O-R-D-W-I-T-H-B-E-E. -E. So this week's word is believe. This week, I want you guys, I'm going to keep it simple. I want you guys to find something and believe in it. Believe you can do it. Believe you can accomplish it. But just believe it. Um, for whatever reason, I got like a burst of like energy and motivation. And I have like a couple of things that I want to do. And I found myself doubting myself. I'm like, okay, that's too short of a time frame. You're not going to be able to do that. Oh, you're only 28. You're not going to be able to do that. Oh, what's the odds? Of, like, and I just was doubting myself. And I'm like, it's possible. If I can see it in my mind, if it's other people around the world that did it, what makes me any different? Why not me? A lot of times when things happen, people wonder or question, oh, why me? Why did this have to happen to me? I have the worst luck. So flip it. Instead of saying, why not? Why me? Flip it with why not me? So find something and believe in it. And it, it starts with um, your mental. What are you putting in your mental? Life and death is in the power of the tongue. That statement is so true. What you speak into the universe is what you get back. What you believe in your mind, what you put in your mind is what is going to manifest into reality. So watch when you wake up in the morning. I know in this generation, the most common thing that we do, I'm guilty of it too. When I first wake up, I always grab my phone and I see what's happening on social media. But this week I'm practicing um, uh, influencing my mental with not what you're doing on social media, not what he's doing on social media, but I'm motivating myself. So now in the car, on my way to and from places, I don't listen to music. I'm listening to motivational, inspirational videos or I'm on YouTube Googling like one of the things that I want to do, how I can become better at it. Like that little five minute drive or 30 minute drive or whatever is very influential. You know, how many times do we hear our kids in the back seat singing the songs that they hear on the radio? So why not, instead of putting that in their mind, put some motivation in their mind and in their spirit early. So today is Sunday. We have a fresh week, a fresh start. That's why I like to do my videos on Sunday because this is kind of like, if you had a bad week, here's a, a refresher. You get a chance to do it over. So this week, find something to believe in. Believe that you can do it. Believe that you can accomplish it. And feed your spirit and feed your mind things to help make that belief a reality. Um, I have a, the definition of believe is to accept something as true, to feel sure of the truth. To hold something as an opinion, to think or suppose. So if you think it, believe it, it's going to be true. If you suppose it, if it's your truth, you can make it true. Don't listen to what the naysayers have to say, the haters, the doubters, the people who want to present the facts. It's always that one person who want to present the fact. You're only 28. What makes you think you can do that? Because I think I can. Because I believe I can. That's how I know it's going to happen. So from the simplest thing, you know, this week I'm believing that I'm going to be um, on work, to be to work on time. This week I believe that I'm going to get 100 on my test or... This week, I believe I'm going to do all of the laundry before Friday. Or this week, I'm going to write two chapters of my new book. Whatever your thing is, believe that you can do it. Speak positive affirmations to yourself in the morning, at night, while you're in the car. Instead of, um, you know, these songs these days are so catchy. So often, I'm singing, baby, shark, do, 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 oh, that song. Or I'm singing, um, don't you know that I'm done tripping, I'm tri okay, yeah, we all like those songs, but instead of doing that, if you find yourself doing that, replace it with, um, you're beautiful, or you're gonna be on time, or this week you're gonna meet your, your quota, or just encourage yourself, encourage your kids, pe feed yourself positive affirmations, and this week is gonna be a great week, and it just starts with you just simply believing it. Um, I was watching a YouTube video, and one of the quotes, and I may mess this up a little bit, but it said, um, the visible starts with the invisible. So you can close your mind and you can think it and you can picture it. And in order to make it a visual reality, you have to start 
in your mental. You have to believe it. So this week, focus on something in your mental and believe it for the rest of the week. And then I'm going to close out with a quote. This is actually a Disney quote. And it says, um, no, where is it? It says, too many people grow up. And I thought about that as a kid, you know, and I have a five-year-old son, so I'm constantly watching him play with his toys or, you know, drawing something. And he has the imagination that this superhero, excuse me, this superhero is knocking down this building or this superhero is, you know, the fastest action figure in the world. Like he's believing in it and he's picturing it in his mind and he's, his imagination is just so innocent and so pure. And as you get older, we tend to lose that. We start to look at the facts of the world or the facts that surround us and we lose that imagination and we lose that, that mental um, imagination that we have to create these things. So if you have to tap into your childhood, go back and tap into your childhood and believe. It's so simple. Believe. If you believe you can, who can tell you that you can't? Don't let nobody tell you that you can't. I believe in you. I believe this is going to be a magnificent, magnificent. Did I say that word? I feel like I'm saying it wrong. This is going to be a great great week for you. I'm believing that you're going to get a good email. I'm believing that you're going to get a good phone call. I'm believing that you're going to get that good news you've been waiting on. I'm believing all of these things for you. I'm pushing positive energy out in the week for you. I hope that you receive it with open arms and I hope that you believe that it's going to happen just as much as I believe it's going to happen for you. So your work this week is believe. It's your girl B. I will be back next Sunday with another word. Um, please give me feedback, um, whether it's email, text message, social media. Please give me feedback on these videos, whether you're practicing these words, if you have suggestions, um, comments, whatever. Um, I want to start including more videos of you guys in my video. So if you, let's say this week you're practicing Believe and you have something to share, just you know, record a little video and send it to me and I'll include it in my next video. So um, I want you guys to comment, what are you believing for yourself this week? Let's put it into the atmosphere and let's all believe it for each other. All right, it's your girl B. I'll see you guys next Sunday on A Word With B. See you later. Hey guys, it's your girl B, and I am back to bring you this week's A Word with B. Before we get into this week's word, make sure you follow me on all social media platforms at A Word with B. That's A W O R D W I T H B E E. So this week, our word is believe. For whatever reason, this week I just have like a burst of energy. I have like a long laundry list of to do things. A long list of things to do. It's your girl B, and I am back to bring you this week's A Word with B. Before we get into anything, make sure you're following me on all social media platforms at A Word with B. That's A W O R D 